Hi everyone, uh, my name is Scott the Foodie and welcome to my first vlog and I'm going to show you an easy way to make Caesar salad dre dressing that is very simple to make. You can make it in less than 10 minutes. Uh, I'll show you my ingredients, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, two cloves that I put through a garlic press. I have Dijon mustard, and if you don't have Dijon mustard, you can just use a regular brown spicy mustard, or you can use a regular yellow mustard if you if that's all you have. That's fine. I use an egg yolk for my Caesar salad dressing, but some people are really you know yeah this guy using an egg yolk, but I use it for mine. But I uh, if you do decide that you can't keep it in the refrigerator once you're done with the Caesar salad dressing, you have to use it right away. If you use it, the reason why I use it is because it gives it a nice bonding texture to the dressing, uh, which which I'll show you. But uh, you can use it without it if you want. Uh, I don't use anchovies uh, regularly, but uh, you can use them if you want. A lot of people in my family, they don't like the anchovies, so I don't put it in it. And not only that, it's not an item that I have readily available in my, in my pantry. So uh, that's the reason why. I have Worcestershire sauce. I have Romano cheese that I use. I prefer Romano instead of Parmesan. Uh, Romano has a richer, more f stronger taste than Parmesan. Uh, I like it. Uh, I, I was uh, I was raised on it. That's probably you know that's my you know, it's my preference. Uh, oil and vinegar, and then of course romaine lettuce. I use that. it's the only type of uh, lettuce that I that I use for that. And that's all you should use. This is romaine lettuce. It's a nice Italian, Italian uh, lettuce. I'm sorry. Okay. So, we get started. Use a bowl. Now you can use any bowl you want, but I prefer a wooden bowl. And the reason why is because when you are making your base, with the, when you're pressing your, uh, your spoon with the garlic, the wood gives it a, it's a nice texture to get the, the garlic going the way you want it to. It, it will, get the juices out of the garlic more effectively than a glass bowl or a plastic bowl or a ceramic bowl. So first in we'll go with the garlic. Okay. I use two cloves. Then I use a, a teaspoon of salt. I use a, then pepper. Teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Then I grab a tablespoon and I want to start mashing it with my spoon. That will release all of the juices from the gar garlic. It's already happening. There we go. Okay, that's good. Then after that, I will use... Uh, let's go with the mustard. I will put the mustard in. Dijon mustard, that will go in. Two tablespoons of that is fine. That's good. Then after that, I will put in my egg yolk. Just one egg yolk. Just the yolk, not the whites with the just just the yolk. That's all I use. Then push the sour sauce. About uh, about again, about another about a tablespoon. That's about it. Then I'm going to mash all this together. I'm gonna mix it. Get all those flavors incorporated. That going like that. Then next will be romaine. Well, I'm sorry, romano. Romano cheese will go in. And you don't want to throw it all in there. Maybe about three tablespoons. And you would. And this is where you have to work on your consistency with the dressing, because you want to create a paste, almost like. You want to uh, make sure that it sticks, and you can uh, put. A, I can now. I can make, uh, put a little more in because you don't want to get it too dry. Almost like, almost like a like a, a wet 
uh, dough, uh, like a wet pasta dough. That's what that's what the consistency that you're looking for. Do that. That's looking good. And I can put a little, just a little more in. I'm looking for that consistency where I know that it's going to bind really good to the lettuce. I can roll, I can play with it now, it's good. All right, that's looking good. Then I want to add a little oil, olive oil. I only use olive oil or extra virgin oil, olive oil because it gives it a nice taste. If you use vegetable oil, it's not going to have that nice strong taste to it. Put that in there. That. Then red wine vinegar. I use that. Maybe about two tablespoons of that, of the red wine vinegar. Put that in there like that. Now, you can, so even just adding the vinegar and the oil, it really brings out, I can smell it now. It's really giving it a nice, especially with the vinegar, it's giving it a nice uh, flavor. Uh, it's good. It smells, it smells really good. Okay, and then, in goes the lettuce. Before you put the lettuce in, make sure you use dry lettuce. Make sure your lettuce is not wet. If you, if you go to a grocery store and you buy it off of the produce section where they, they spray it with water to keep it fresher, make sure when you bring that home that you dry it off. You can use a salad spinner. If you don't have that, use a dish towel and make sure that it is dry before you put it in there. You know, you know after you clean it. In goes the lettuce. Oh, a couple of jumpers. Okay. Then when I'm mixing it, I get another spoon, preferably a larger spoon, with the spoon that I was using, and I want to dig. I want to start digging. I want to bring up the dressing from the bottom of the bowl. And you can play good music while you're doing this, which is good. I like Dean Martin. When I cook, I like to listen to music. It helps me relax. I listen to nice Italian music. It's very good. Yeah, that's good. All right, that's about good. That's it. Okay. Then what I will do is I'll put some more Romano cheese on top, and then I will plate it. Let's see, we'll use this plate right here. And you can use this in a variety of different ways. You don't have to use this this dressing that we made. You don't have to use just use it for Caesar to make a salad. You can use it to put on top of fish. And you can uh, use it to put on top of like a uh, grilled chicken. And you can also use it as a topping for pizza as well. I've done that before. You uh, spiral it on, spiral it on. And it comes out pretty good. So there is your Caesar salad that we just made in less than 10 minutes. Very simple, easy ingredients, very simple to make. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you make it and enjoy it with your family and friends. And uh, I hope it improves the quality of your happiness. So, thank you.